from around the world. And at, we're going to receive from the Bahamas. Our supervisor is here, our bishop is here, and they're going to come and give us two minutes. Two minutes. So you've got to talk fast. Good afternoon. We're so happy to be here. This is our delegation of a few of us. It's 43 here from the Bahamas. Amen. Some are coming, some are just landing, but our people come with expectations that they will come and glean something from the saints in the U.S. so they can take it back home and begin to work to build up the work in the Bahamas. Praise the Lord. We just are praising the Lord because the church in the Bahamas is growing. We unfortunately celebrated the home going of our late Bishop William Grant and God blessed us with a new prelate, Bishop Tony Hanna. And under his administration, the church has already grown and we're looking forward to greater things that the Lord is doing in the Bahamas. Thank you and God bless. I would like all of our countries and representatives who have not been here before to stand, and I want you to come. In the interest of time, we want you to come and just come and line up. Many of us have been here before, and we don't have much time, so we want to give time to our new brothers that have come, our new sisters. Amen. Dr. I am Superintendent E. Charles Conner, the Mission Director for St. Lucia, the Church of God in Christ's newest vineyard for the Lord. Give the Lord a hand praise for St. Lucia. St. Lucia is on the map. And two of the pastors with me, Pastor Martin T. Blass and Pastor Eugene George, shall have brief remarks. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight it's another privilege to be here. And I found God that God could take me from St. Lucia and bring me in this great meeting tonight. Hallelujah. God has been doing something great in our midst in St. Lucia. And I believe by next year we will get more churches coming and we'll be planting more churches in the island of St. Lucia. Tonight we are a great nation that speaks two languages. And this is where we could help our super superintendent corner when he go to Martinique and Guadeloupe. May God richly bless you. My name is Eugene George, and it's just a pleasure to be here and to be working in St. Lucia. We thank God for the missions department and the assistance that you're giving us in St. Lucia on the superintendent corner. We solicit your prayers as we continue to take St. Lucia by storm for the glory of God. God richly bless you and keep praying for St. Lucia. I am glad to be in our mix tonight. I am God's power and Bukro Adaka from a do jurisdiction, and this is my bishop, Bishop Obi. God bless you. God bless you, saints. God bless you. We bring you greeting from Nigeria, West Africa. God bless you. I greet each and everyone in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus. My name is Pastor George Lamini from South Africa. I would like to thank God for this opportunity to come here. It's for the first time I come to the U.S. and I have been so blessed. The Lord is doing a great work in South Africa. I am working under Superintendent uh, Vincent Matthews. Uh, the, our, uh, our, place at, uh, our ministry has been started just recently in March, but a lot has happened. Uh, we've had uh, already uh, we had a convocation for mothers and then we had a convocation uh, for the whole church. So uh, the Lord uh, is doing wonderful work there. The church of God is, great, is growing in the name of Jesus. I thank you. Amen. I bring greetings from Uganda. My name is Pastor David Sebufu. I want to thank God for Bishop Hanson who have been coming to Uganda and helped the church in Uganda. 
I want also to thank God for Dr. Mom, Helene Russell, also have been coming and helped the women. Women, pastors, it has been really great. Uganda is growing. We thank God for Uganda. I love Uganda. Praise the Lord. I am Pastor Tommy Joseph from India. India is one of the largest, largest populated country. 1.5 billion people are in India. By the grace of God, India is a uh, lot of uh, mission works are going on right now. And uh, Bishop Karls uh, uh, Moody, he sent uh, uh, recently uh, Bishop Michael called to India. He came and he visited many places. By the grace of God, many, many churches are planting and many people are coming to Lord. Less than 2% of people are Christians in India and we are working together. We need your prayer. I thank you. Thank you very much for this wonderful occasion. Praise Lord. Excuse me for interrupting, but we have two charter buses on 3rd Street and you need to move right away. The Memphis Police Department has sent a notice. Please move those buses. Thank you. I'm Superintendent Jerry Ivory, Director of Missions for Kenya, the home of Obama. Hey, Amen. <laughs> We're dancing in the streets in Kenya. The Church of God in Christ started last September under the leadership of Bishop Carter Moody. We had zero churches in Kenya. Our presiding bishop met us in August where over 250 pastors met with us in Kenya. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Emmanuel K. Emim. I'm from Ghana. And I thank God for this wonderful church that we have in Memphis. And I also thank God that we belong to a very wonderful and mighty church. That is Church of God in Christ. In Ghana, we have 75 churches belonging to Kojik under the able leadership of our missions director, Sims. And I thank God for his life, the marvelous work that he's doing back in Ghana. We love you and we love the church so much. God bless you. Uh, my name is Superintendent Lonely Sabao from Malawi. Malawi, Central African jurisdiction. Body that Bishop Kalisimoni came in June this year, and it was a wonderful day. We had a wonderful uh, uh, chat with Bishop Mode. Fortunately enough, uh, Bishop Mode has been directed by the presiding bishop and the general board to appoint me to the office of the director of mission Malawi. It was, uh, this is a very wonderful me. Of God in Malawi is growing fast, and we have 40 churches in Malawi. And uh, I have also appointed uh, my supervisor, a mother, Crowded Duncans, to be the supervisor of Malawi. God bless you all. Continue praying for us. Amen. Amen. Let's give him another hand. This is his first time to America. And he's very excited about it. And we thank God for what is happening over in Malawi. God bless you and keep us in your prayers. God bless you. I am Mother Beverly Joyner, and we represent a new ministry, Jamaica uh, Ministries, in Ocherias and Montego Bay, Jamaica, under the leadership of Dr. Joseph Chase. God bless each and every one of you. We, we, we pray that God's blessing be on you. We want you to be able to see the growth on next year because our goal is to have representation from all the churches that we have plus that are in, 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 in the process of coming. We have 12 churches and we want to let you know in spite of all the storms that have come through, God is yet rebuilding and restoring. Amen. God bless you. I'm Bishop Fortson, uh, Barbados and the Caribbean jurisdiction. I have my lovely wife, Sister Fortson, and one of our superintendent, uh, superintendent, amen, and his wife with us, Superintendent Davis. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord is blessing, amen, in the Barbados and the Caribbean jurisdiction. want to let you know that this year we had 
a great theme, taking Barbados one block at a time. And the Lord blessed us to be able to go out into the community and paint houses in the community, go into the nursing home, paint rooms in the nursing home. Uh, the young people's the youth on a mission joined us in July and they brought great talent, v, uh, the VVS. They, uh, we had a wonderful time in the street ministry. Many souls were saved and we give God praise and honor for that. We invite you to come and be with us next year in Barbados and uh, the Virgin Islands, praise God. Uh, in the January, in February the 3rd through the 8th, we'll be in Barbados. And August the 3rd through the 9th, 2009, we'll be there for the Holy Convocation. And in St. Croix, we will be there June the 1st to the 3rd. And then in St. Thomas, St. John, July the 4th through the 7th. I just want our superintendent to invite you to St. Croix for the Youth Fest. Superintendent David. Well, praise God. I'm here tonight praising God with you. And I'm inviting you to St. Croix uh, June the 1st to the 3rd. And I'm expecting to see more of you because we're having a wonderful time in the St. Croix. Every year, Bishop Fortson and the team comes to St. Croix. And I'm telling you, we have some wonderful time here. So we're inviting you to come and join us at any time. God bless you. We have a group of men and women, and many times they are the unsung heroes. Amen? These men serve our military, our institutions as chaplains. And at this time, they're going to greet us and just share something with us. I'm Bishop Desmond, and uh, I am the Bishop of the Military Institutional Chaplains Department, Church of God in Christ. <laughs> to up to our motto, and that is, into the everywhere, the world is our parish. We take those words from our founder, Bishop Mason, as he would say in everywhere and these chaplains serve all over the world they serve in ships and uh, military bases around the world because of our close relationship with Bishop Carlos Moody and the missions department we have worked very closely with them uh, all around uh, the globe this bishop sitting here is a former military man <laughs> uh, in Germany we have several churches that are there that work together with the military chaplains. I'm going to have these chaplains just state their name and where they're stationed very briefly as we greet you in this 101st Holy Ghost Convocation. Praise the Lord, church. Chaplain Sean Nalen serving at Lackland Air Force Base, San Antonio, Texas. I'm Chaplain uh, Jimmy Sanders, Shepherd Air Force Base, Wichita Falls, Texas. Chaplain Gerald Harvey, Inserlik Air Base, Turkey. Chaplain Candidate Tyrone Ellis, Toledo, Ohio. Chaplain James L. Dance, Training Support Center, Great Lakes, Illinois. Now notice we have not only some brothers, but we have some sister chaplains. Come on, somebody say amen. <laughs> that serve both in the military and in civilian hospitals, prisons, all around the world. Amen. Chaplain Marion Brown, I serve at the 103rd Air Wing, Connecticut, New York. <laughs> Chaplain Valerie Phillips, I serve for United States Nursing Corps International. Senior Chaplain Charlena Crum, Atlanta, Georgia, DeKalb County Police Department, and Emory University Hospitals, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Chaplain P.K. Roberts. I'm right now serving in Fort Carson, Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I promised my son that if I would get a chance to say anything to the saints, 
it would be thank you. My son is returning home today or tomorrow from his third tour in Iraq. And he said the saints have prayed him through. And so we said thank you, thank you, thank you for praying for us. I hope you know that these chaplains are saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and a mighty and burning fire. And we do speak in tongues as the Spirit gives others and pray in Jesus' name. Say a prayer for Church of God in Christ chaplains all over the world. We have several chaplains right now that are in Iraq and Afghanistan. Pray for them. We have one chaplain that's leaving here, headed to Afghanistan. So please pray for us. God bless you. God bless you, Bishop Morgan. And we cannot emphasize enough how vital it is for us to pray for our men and women who are serving and many of them are in hot spots amen but we know that God is able to sustain and to cover them and bring them back I want to say at this time that I left off the country of Ethiopia but we are in Ethiopia Ethiopia you're here amen praise God I need you to come amen we need you to come sister Stockton we need you to come right now God has moved us into places that we never thought we'd be. Amen. Give us a greeting. Greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I bring you greetings from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. God is doing great things. When I first came there, we didn't have any churches of God in Christ. Now we have 13 churches and over 7,000 members. To God be the glory. Hallelujah! Come on, praise God. He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Hallelujah! Our founder said that the Lord said that he was going to add millions of souls. And we see God's word. Hallelujah. At this time,